Today we're in France to visit one of the national parks of the Alps. Mountains are a dangerous environment, and not only for people, for animals too. The weather can change very quickly, even in summer. A sudden fog can make it treacherous to stray off the path. Dangerous and possibly painful, especially at this high altitude. But all the same, who would be crazy enough to chance going out on slopes as steep as these? The answer? The chamois. But even if the chamois is the champion climber, he's not Superman. Leaping from rock to rock is a risky business, and sometimes they fall too. It's true, chamois spend all their days up on the rocks, and it, well, it can be so tiring that sometimes the troop takes a break in the snow at what's called a fern. And it's then that the young chamois really let off steam. It's like recess at school. You try to scare each other. You, you even scare yourself running around in all directions. And especially, especially, you do roundabouts and slides, and they can be terrifying. Yeah. And when the young chamois aren't busy with their death-defying leaps, they fight each other like gladiators. In fact, they never stop. But they're the only ones. Now, it's summer, and one thing chamois hate is getting overheated. Oh, no. The adults would rather settle into the snow to keep cool. But you see what's going on. Why, sure, the frantic games are not totally innocent. These young ones are training for their adult lives. Their moms are always watching over them, but they rarely intervene. No, a chamois has to learn how to manage on his own, to be agile and courageous. As it happens, once they are adult, the females stay in groups to raise their offspring. But a male, well, he lives alone. In both cases, a chamois's life is a very dangerous one. So, might as well enjoy playing while you can. After this little break, the troop of chamois is going to leave. Fun time is over. One last check to make sure everybody's here, and then it's off to the next big climb. At first it looks easy, but our jumpy little friend has to learn to save his energy and to stay behind his mother. That's right, just like that. Because if you want to live to be an old chamois, you have to learn to be a careful chamois. To make it as safe as possible, in each group there is a guide, an older female, who knows the mountain to the tips of her hooves and shows the way, while behind her the others follow as best they can. All the same, one question remains. Why do chamois spend all their time climbing up and down mountains if it's so difficult? <laughs> That's easy. They go up in the summer to keep cool, down in the winter to keep warm. You know, when you think about it, I guess a chamois is pretty smart after all. <laughs>